Uh, the bestowing part will take place a little later, Ben. <laughs> Three decades ago, a mysterious and terrifying plague began to take the lives of people across the world. Before this malady even had a name, it had a fierce opponent in Dr. Anthony Fauci. As the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases for more than 23 years, Tony Fauci has led the fight against HIV and AIDS. He was also leading architect and champion of the Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, which over the past five years has reached millions of people preventing HIV infections in infants and easing suffering and bringing dying communities back to life. The man who would lead the fight against this dreaded disease came from an Italian-American family in Brooklyn. Even as a boy, Tony was distinguished by his courage in a neighborhood full of Brooklyn Dodgers fans. He rooted for the Yankees. Tony earned a full scholarship to Regis High School, a Jesuit school in Manhattan. And he still quotes what he learned from Jesuit teaching. Precision, precision of thought, economy of expression. And now you know why he never ran for public office. <laughs> Those who know Tony do admit one flaw. Sometimes he forgets to stop working. He regularly puts in 80-hour weeks. And from time to time, he's even found notes on his windshield left by his co-workers. They say things like, go home, you're making me feel guilty. <laughs> a friend once commented that Tony was so obsessed with work that his wife must be a pretty patient woman. The truth of the matter is, she's very busy herself. Christine Gra uh, Grady is a renowned bioethicist. And together they re raised three talented daughters, Jennifer, Megan, and Allison. And I hope each of you know that for all Tony has accomplished, he considers you to be one of his, not one of his, his most important achievement. Your love and support have strengthened him as he works to save lives across the world for his determined and aggressive efforts to help others live longer and healthier lives. I'm proud to award the Presidential Medal of Freedom to Dr. Anthony S. Fauci. When Tom Lantos was 16 years old, Nazi troops occupied his...